Howdy, it's Uncle Paul, and I am getting fearless. Okay, so I went on a hike this morning, had a good hike. Uh, first time I've had this backpack, this uh, Z-Pax Arc Air 50 liter aerobic material here uh, out on a trail with my extender for my hip belt. And so I could cinch up my hip belt just fine in the whole pack and it did very well. I was, it was very comfortable. So I'm extremely happy about that. Okay, so uh, I'm getting fearless. Well, I don't guess that's exactly correct, but I am trying to uh, face some of my fears when it comes to what it is that I take with me, what it is that I've been using for years now uh, on my backpacking trips. So, hi, Hurley. Hi, dear. Hey, buddy. So, um, so I want to just go over a few things that I'm, I'm, I'm changing. Uh, some of them you know that I've made the change, but I want to explain why. Okay, before I start with, with all that, let me just say that this water bottle clip here uh, I talked about uh, in a recent video. I went ahead and got one. Uh, I had this full, of course, this morning. And it rode well. I'm I'm very happy with it. I I'm glad that I got this. Wish I'd have had it long ago. So, okay. The first thing, the first item that I'm that I'm basically uh, changing up has to do with my sleep system. Now, I've just about always had an air up mattress, and this is a new one I just got. And along with an air up mattress, I would always bring a, a Z light, uh, the uh, Thermarest Z light, the yellow and silver accordion style close uh, cell foam. You know, because I was always afraid that, especially if it was cold weather, that I would get a leak in my air mattress or that it would just pop <laughs> on me, you know. And then I wouldn't have anything uh, to, to lie on on the ground, uh, especially if it was cold. So I've always carried not just one of these, but also one of those Z-Lite foam pads. So I'm not going to carry one on this next trip, this upcoming trip. I'm just going to use this. Now, if it pops, I doubt it will. I, I, I'm sure it'll be just fine. But... Uh, it's going to be summertime, so I don't think the ground's going to be that cold, but it may be uncomfortable. But anyway, so I'm no longer, I'm facing that fear, and I'm not going to bring uh, one of those Z-Lite, uh, Thermarest Z-Lite pads with me. Okay, number two. It has to do with the tent. Now, y'all know that that I've you know, got a uh, Z-Pax duplex tent recently, and you know, my fear has been, since I've started backpacking I did a lot of research uh, being I was been afraid of having a single wall tent uh, for various reasons you know it, it for one thing's the condensation I was particularly concerned when I was gonna be out originally like in 2017 on the AT and it still be a cold night and and then uh, you know have things get wet my down quilt get wet just be miserable and maybe uh, maybe get a little bit dangerous, but it's just all the extra work, you know, of having to take care of that. Uh, also, uh, you know, it, it's harder to set up. You have to uh, pitch it right, and and it's you know a freestanding tent. Uh, it's just easier, and you you know I think probably quicker for somebody like me. And you know, uh, I'm tired when I get into camp. Don't want to put the effort and energy into setting up a single wall tent. Uh, so that was the other reason. The, the third reason was the trekking poles. Uh, having to use my trekking poles as part of it, of course that saves on the weight, but I thought, I'm always afraid that, well, I'll need to, I'll be so tired, my feet hurt. And, they, and it was the case in the times I've been hiking, uh, backpacking, that I would need something or it sure did help to have 
a trekking pole or two to get me to the privy or to get more water or something like that. So I didn't really want my trekking poles to be used uh, for the tent and then not have them, you know, if I was really sore and tired. So, but you know what? I'm going to face those <laughs> face those fears uh, concerning my tent and come what may, I, I love the weight savings uh, on this tent and um, so I'm just going to make it work somehow. Okay, and then number three, it has to do with my cook system. I have not, I, I purchased this you know, before I ever went out on the uh, AT. I, I've just got stuff in here. I don't have the food, so I've just stuffed it full of odds and ends uh, to fill up my pack to see if it would all fit in my new Z-Packs backpack. So, but I've never taken my, my stove, you know, and my fuel and my pot and all that. I just haven't. I think one time, when I was on the uh, Lone Star Hiking Trail last time, just one overnighter with some friends, I took this, made some coffee in the morning, and I really enjoyed it. So, you know, one of my reasons for not taking my stove and my cook system is because of water. I always need water. I don't like the idea of using my water, a couple of cups or more, to, to make food. And also, I'm tired. You know, once again, trying to save energy, I'm tired and I don't want to do all of that. I just soon eat something cold uh, and and have it done with, have it over with, you know. But even though it's summertime, I still like to drink coffee. And, and so I'm going to plan on making some coffee and I'm going to bring maybe even a couple of Mountain House meals. They're expensive, but I'm going to maybe splurge, have a couple of those and some other, uh, you know, freeze dried stuff and make me some some good suppers at night. I'm gonna face my fear on using water. By the way, this, the trail, this section I'm planning on being on has a lot of water sources. I'm gonna try it and see how it is. I, I, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And so I'm gonna try it. Anyway, okay, those are really, that's really all, those three things are what I am uh, unpacking, you know, uh, in order to face my fears. Yeah, good boy, whoa. Good boy, Hurley. Good Sunday morning, everybody. Well, I mentioned in this video to, uh, this week that uh, I had my belt extender. Well, Tuesday, I put out a video this past Tuesday of how I made my belt extender, uh, my belt extender hack, if you will. So if, just in case you didn't know about that, I put that one out on Tuesday. Okay, so... Uh, I have one other thing I wanted to to, uh, to bring you up on, and that is my weight loss competition. Me and another stu uh, teacher were uh, continuing to do our weight loss competition. Well, that ends tomorrow, so we weigh in tomorrow. Our security guard there at the school and his wife, they put vinyl on it, different types of things and stuff, so they offered to do uh, a trophy. So... Uh, he brought in a trophy, the security guard, just a few days ago uh, this past week, and it's a legit trophy. I was thinking some little small thing, which would have been fine. It didn't need to be much at all. It was just for fun and for bragging rights. This is a heavy-duty trophy. It really looks nice. So I will show that if I win this competition, I win the trophy, then I will show you guys uh, what that looks like. It's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and Lord willing, I will see you next week. Everybody stay safe. Be good.